So the verdict on the earphones that have the batteries in them is that, uh, pardon me, we're eating our snack in the car. It's kind of a cold day out there. So, um, the verdict on the earphones with the batteries in them, apparently there's like a volume thing you can do so that it turns up, it turns off my voice too. So the only thing it picks up is like the resonance of a voice and like birds singing but it doesn't pick up bullets or loud abrupt noises or wind. So the wind outside made them turn off too so you couldn't hear anything, but it sounds like it sounds like a tape recorder in your ear. So I don't know if I like them or not. I, I think they're okay. They make it so you can hear everything around you. It amplifies the sounds around you that are people's voices are like, we moved the guns across the concrete a little bit and the sound was really loud. So it actually amplifies the sounds that are not gunshot. And I, I don't know that I like that. It's quite loud. Um, so if you're a shooter and you've never had some of these amplified earphones before, then uh, that's the that's kind of the pros and the cons of it. And the girls have regular, regular earphones, and I think I prefer that form because I don't know that this amplified other sound is fun. Um, I, I, what I like, what I personally like to wear is the little plastic ones that fit inside your ears, and then I like to wear these non-amplified ones over that, and that's what I like to wear. And then, of course, you need to wear like safety goggles and everything. Mr. Dirt lended me his uh, his sunglasses this time because duh I forgot my sunglasses um because I wasn't shooting but when those bullets are coming out when the um casings are coming out of the rifle or out of the handgun they they kind of ping all over the place and you don't want to hit you know, in the eye so there we go um that's oh, what I think of these I, I think they're baby. kind of gimmicky I guess that's my personal take. They're kind of gimmicky. So anyway, but previously we only had one set of these. They're, they're the ones that Kaya has on the little red ones or no, the one we switched them. So the ones, let's see, can you see Paige? The ones that Paige has on were the only external muffs that we had. And then we were using those little spongy ones to put in our ears and they weren't good enough. The good ones are the ones with the little spiral around them that are meant um, I'm going outside. Girls, you're not going outside. Why? You're not going outside. Just hold on a second. Um, the little squishy orange ones, I don't think they work very well at all. I prefer the ones that have the ridges on them that you put them in and then you put these on top. And but it's really exciting that we have the earmuffs now because it, it was really hard just to get those ones that go inside your ear to fit on, in the girl's ears efficiently. So it wasn't really fun for everybody. And it's good to leave the earphones on the whole time you're at the range, not just when you're shooting, because even if you're not shooting, somebody else is going to be shooting and it's hard on your ears. And do you guys have anything to add? Huh? Um, I'm so they are shooting. Oh, the other thing is I always, always, always bring wet wipes. I bring wet wipes so that we can wash our hands after we have done our and shooting. And we brought a snack. And we brought a snack. So when I get ready to go shooting, I pack a bag that has a... Uh, uh, baking so water that has baking soda, sugar, lemon juice, and salt in it to help with um, dehydration. And um, I pack wet wipes so that we can wipe our hands really good after we've been shooting because you do get lead and other metal and nasty stuff on your hands and you want to make sure you're not eating that. And a snack. I, we brought turnips and cheese this time. So that's what we bring when we go shooting. And the girls all have their goggles and eye things, and they're they're made for kids. They're not adult sunglasses. They're a kid's safety glasses. Anything else? Um, these kind of hats, these sun hats. Can you see that? They don't work when you're shooting. It has to be baseball caps, otherwise they don't fit under. And I meant to bring sunscreen, and I didn't remember it. Sunscreen would probably be. And good I turned four. I mean five. You did. You turned five, didn't you? So. Anything else? Um, and we're gonna go up back outside. Just because you have your phones on doesn't mean you need to yell. They don't have your phones on. Oh. We're gonna go back out. They've got like three bullets each left to shoot, so we're gonna let them go finish. Now that they've had I their snack, and Mr. Dirt is out there trying his large, larger caliber rifle weather. that's hurting his shoulder, so he stole my jacket. Um, or I guess it was his jacket. Because Paige has my jacket. I'm You're gonna, gonna wait, Paige, until I tell you to get out. Yay, very cool weather. You have earphones on. You don't need to yell. The other thing is I never let my kids run around on the range. 
ever. If my kids are here with me, I am with my kids. There is no playing. You're either on the line or you're in the car or you're holding my hand and we're going for a walk. But um, never let the kids free on the range. You don't know if, if everybody else that's on the range understands the range rules about keeping your nose pointed down range, about not shooting until everybody else is ready. If you don't, if ever, you just don't know what everybody's training is on the range. So you need to be careful about yourself. But if you have children, you never, ever, ever, because they could run down range and some of you might not know they're going down range. It's just, uh, don't, don't want to pay a stupid tax with the lives of your kids. Um, don't want them to win the Darwin award on your behalf. So anyway, there we go.